Seven elves. My ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Lord? Shh! Listen! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord 
Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan! Miss. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan... I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. 
There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the oh, count right, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? Long firm. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. 
I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know! And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? I'm honoured. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword, I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Like you mean it. Sword up. Swing left. Barry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they can ready. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. That way they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. 
Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. May sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached hey, his decision. Father. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. 
It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new sentinel favours a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore! Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm prepared to do what must be done. I don't need my brother to do it for me. Having another sword at your side always helps. Especially now. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word. Do you hear me?
I hear you, but this is a mistake. I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet.